Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for the Dade County Weekly Update. Uh, remember, you can type your questions in the comment section during the live update. And if you don't want to ask your questions during the live broadcast, you can always email us at info at dadecounty-ga.gov. Thank you for coming to the right place for the right information. My name is Carrie Anderson. I do public information uh, for the county. Today's guests are Marshanna Sharp with the library, Jane Dixon with the Alliance for Dade, and of course, we'll be hearing from from, uh, County Executive Ted Rumley with our COVID update. If you know someone who would be interested in hearing from any of our guests today, go ahead and invite them to watch this live broadcast. You can share it to your own Facebook feed or you can start a watch party so that you can hold your own discussion. Remember that you can also watch this later on Facebook and YouTube and sharing the links to our video is super easy. So we do have a few announcements and upcoming events. If you want to grab a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper, you can write them down or you can always check out our calendar at dadecounty-ga.gov. I do want to remind you that there is a commission meeting tonight at 6 o'clock p.m. It will be televised on KWN and it will be shared to our Facebook page. In light of COVID, we are trying our best to do as much virtually as possible. Um, and you may also see a copy of the agenda for tonight's meeting on our website at dadecounty-ga.gov. Reminder that the Trenton Police Department is still doing the Silver Bills project. Please call 706-657-4167 with questions. You may drop off your donations at City Hall between the hours of 8 and 4 until December 11th. They are asking for basic hygiene items, crossword puzzle books, socks, blankets, etc. for senior citizens in our area. Also a reminder, this Saturday our, we have a lot of events happening in Trenton. Our guest today will talk a little bit more about those, but we will be um, having the Light Up Dade or Light Up Trenton with the Alliance for Dade and the Public Library and the Christmas Parade sponsored by the Bank of Dade will follow those events at 6 o'clock. Also, Tri-State Food Pantry will have their distribution tomorrow from 3 to 5 behind Sand Mountain United Methodist Church on Sand Mountain. This is a pretty important announcement that was just given to us right before we came on. DFAX has a job opening for social services specialist right here in the Dade County office. We posted the link to that on our Facebook page a little bit earlier today, so that link is there. Um, or you can visit governmentjobs.com forward slash career forward slash DHS Georgia forward slash jobs. So we'll try to post that in the links to the comment section in just a moment, but DFAX does have a job opening here in their Dade County office. So um, if you are looking for a job or you know someone who is looking for a job in social work, there is one available right here. So with, uh, without further ado, we will go on with our guests and we will start with Marshanna Sharp. Good evening. So, um, as Carrie was saying, uh, Friday, I mean Saturday, we will be doing um, lighting up the park and the trees that are in front of the library, which is our grand illumination. It just will be illumination this year, maybe not so grand. Uh, we won't be having the hot chocolate and the caroling like we normally do. We we will be doing the Friends of the Library have um, hired a Santa for us, uh, but it is by appointment only. We uh, currently, all appointments are full, but if you wanna call and get on the waiting list, I'm gonna start calling all those people tomorrow and finding out who can still come and who can't. So there may be some spaces available after that. So um, call, get on the waiting list, and I'll just go down the list and start calling the ones that are on that list. Uh, we will be closed, of course, the 24th, the 25th, and the 26th uh, for Christmas. Um, and we have some um, story hour and some other projects going on. Stop by the library, pick up a calendar, or check out our Facebook or our web page uh, for all those uh, all those things. I did want to. We're still doing t time with a teacher, so if you want to go on that side or call the library, and we'll tell you how to do that and schedule a tutor session with a, a teacher. That's still available. And um, it seems like there was something else I was going. Oh, the tree, the Santa. I'm sorry. Normally we have the giving tree in the front. Um, this year, and um, of course last year, it's a, it's a snowman. 
Uh, there's gloves, hats, scarves, socks. Uh, we want to make sure everybody stays warm. Uh, they've been donated. We have quite a few. Um, so if you need gloves or know someone that needs gloves or a toboggan, um, feel free to stop by and get them. They'll be out there all the time. Uh, we'll try to keep them up during um, all the cold weather, even after Christmas. So um, it's in the front of the library. Um, we've had several people ask, um, have come by to uh, donate some scarves and socks and things also. So um, it's there. We still have the food pantry. People are still filling it up. I saw someone this morning. Thank you, whoever it was, they were filling it back up. So um, um, that's it. Thank y'all. Well, good afternoon. My name is Jane Dixon, and I'm here today to discuss briefly with you all something that is happening this weekend, something that Marshanna and the library is supporting, something that the parade will be supporting. And what it is is called, it's called Light Up Trenton. Well, what we're going to be doing is we have visited all the businesses in our town and asked them to decorate. Uh, I think if you ride around a little uh, around town, you're going to notice that there are some people who are doing what's called going all out. And there are some really elaborate decorations coming out. I just visited uh, uh, Dana over at the Sentinel, and they have not yet decorated. They don't have all their trees and all their stuff, and they're going to do kind of a dancing characters out front. She and Kathy are going to be alive and dance, so they haven't got that together yet, but I'm sure that they will, particularly since I've shared it with you all. It will encourage them uh, to put on their costumes and to perform for you. Uh, the purpose of the Alliance for Date, I do want to reiterate this one more time with you. It is to help promote our businesses in our town, to ask people to come to Trenton, ask them to shop, ask them to eat, take your food home with you if you don't want to go in places, or if we can't go in a restaurant, pick up food, help our small businesses in our town stay alive in this time. This is this coming Saturday, 6 o'clock. Drive through our town Saturday any time in the daytime. See if you can see the, the lights on. Please do. I have my mask, and we all need to remember to please wear your mask when you run around this Saturday. Please social distance and stay away from crowds, and let's try to make this one of the safest events that we have had. It is a collaborated effort between the library, the Bank of Dade, the Alliance for Dade, we will be picking winners. Now, everyone who participates will receive recognition from the Alliance for Day. Then the grand winner will receive a bigger and better recognition. So everybody come on out. If you know some people who own a business, call them up, tell them to get off of it. I was telling uh, Matt Mayfield's lady to tell my Matt to get off some of his dusty money and spend some money and decorate everywhere. So we'll see what people do. But whatever you do, be safe, have a wonderful time on Saturday, and we look forward to seeing you. Ms. Carey? Good afternoon. Got a few announcements here before I go into our COVID report. Um, I want to make sure that people know that uh, the driver's license services people will be here Monday. Uh, we get a lot of calls about that. A lot of people uh, uh, do use that service, uh, especially since they don't have to drive across the mountain over into Rock Springs. Uh, I want to thank a lot of people that uh, helped us yesterday. Uh, uh, you know, uh, with Philip's funeral, uh, it worked out really good. The weather. Uh, it cleared up uh, and uh, the cold it wasn't as cold as we thought it was going to be and um, I do want to uh, let our prayers go out to, to the family of Philip Phil Street uh, he will be missed he was a special person and uh, part of this county that uh, you know that's just kind of like a puzzle I've said it before he said pay for a puzzle it's gone you know and we, we will miss him um, the uh, some projects that's going on in our county that uh, we have, you know, I said last week we finished up the Lookout Dam, Lookout Lake Dam project. County Road 6 are working every day up there. I, I gave a little report this morning on it. Uh, 
you know, we're on schedule. I got a call from Rick Mundy uh, with Georgia Power just a few minutes ago. Uh, they're working with some landowners on um, placing some poles uh, on uh, that uh, left side of the road up there. I run into a little issue there, but I think you're going to work that out. And um, so Georgia Power is on the, on the scene up there we're working on that. Um, we can go ahead and finish drilling our hole, but that's not holding us back at all because they've got a lot to do before they get to that point. So we are on schedule on that, but we're still, you know, it's still going to be on up in uh, probably, um, you know, January before we can open that road back up because it is a major project, uh, as, you, as most of you know. Uh, our paving, we did wind our, uh, our major paving up, uh, at least for the summer. We'll start back in the spring. Um, we did finish uh, uh, the roads that we had on our list and, uh, and a few more that were really, really bad. Uh, we are, are patching some areas now on the mountains in the valley uh, that, uh, that just need um, just a short, short paved uh, patches. Um, they'll probably wind that up by next week. Uh, I do want to congratulate Dade County High School. Uh, they were recognized by the state of Georgia, the Bo Georgia Board, School Board Association as a governance team of the year. Uh, that's that's a really uh, big honor. They were, I think, came in maybe second last year or so. They were nominated, but uh, this year it's a it's a really a, a, a big honor to have that. Uh, they go out, they interview a lot of people in the community. A lot of the people uh, I know, I, I was uh, interviewed by you know, the lady, and they go in detail. They spend a day or so up here just uh, actually doing research. So we're proud. We're proud of them. Proud of our schools. Uh, we do have a commission meeting tonight at six o'clock. Our work session starts at six. We'll go into the meeting uh, right after a work session, and uh, we are uh, using social distancing. We're going to uh, be as strict as we can on this. We do uh, ask you to wear a mask if you come in here. We're, we're going to have room for how I many? About nine or ten here, uh, I think. Is that right? Uh, as far as the because we, we measured it off, we want to because it's uh, people. It's uh, really it's really bad. Uh, our numbers are going up. Uh, we uh, uh, we hope that you on you know, during the parade it's going to be a big a big evening big day and hope people come out and enjoy it. We want you to really try to social distance and wear those masks. I don't care if it is outside. Uh, you know, just try try to uh, uh, to do that. And uh, you know, it's pretty much all we can do to fight this. So please please do that because it's uh, it's it's here. It's it's real and. Uh, Try not to uh, just ignore the fact, you know. And when you're in these grocery stores and all, or uh, our funeral or whatever, you know, try try to do that. Do 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 you? We can't, you know. We're not forcing you to do it. You can't force people to do that. But use common sense. Look around you. If you don't believe it's not here, read the read the real the real numbers, and you'll see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Three press and nine hours. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You can watch it, uh, you know, live and all at home, our, our meeting and all. So, uh, you know, and, and it's going to be uh, actually Kerry Abbott online, and then uh, Evan, he runs it, you know, continuously, but uh, uh, several times a week after he does. Uh, the um, and We're also proud of our unemployment rate. We're in the top three, uh, you know, on that too, on the, on the uh, unemployment rate. We're at like 2.3, I think is what it was. Is that right, Kerry? Two point, I think it was 2.3. And that's even lower than it was last last month, so that's good. Uh, uh, you know, it's something that uh, what that says is, you know, a lot of people are back at work, and uh, there is jobs out there right now. I mean, if you if you can't find a job, uh, you need to get out there and look because they're out there. I promise you. You may have to go to Chattanooga, but even in our industrial park, there's people. We've got one opening. Did you? Did, I guess you announced that a while ago. We got one opening in Defax, right? Uh, it's the Department of uh, Family and Children Services uh, just downstairs. It's a um, government you know, job, state job. But uh, then I just put the link to that in our comments. Okay, so if you if you're interested in that, you know, go online and and uh, Carrie's got the phone number you can call and uh, the interview process and all that. Uh, the uh, general election runoff uh, uh, the uh, you know start January the fifth. Uh, you must be registered by Dej December the seventh. Uh, to vote in our general election, and then the federal uh, runoff was Jan January the 5th. Uh, advanced voting will be held during regular county business hours. Um, advanced voting hours will be December the 14th through the 17th, 8 to 5, uh, and then the uh, 18th, 8 to 8 till 2, December the 21st through the 23rd, 8 to 5, and then it'll be closed December 24th and 25th uh, for, uh, of course, for the holidays. Uh, then December 28th and 30th, 2028 to 5. January the 5th is 7 to 7, and election days, uh, that's election day. 
uh, and uh, they'll be they open at seven and close at seven. So if you have any questions, you can uh, go online. And if we don't have the answers to that. You can call um, and talk to Sherry, uh, Kerry, or actually just call our our voting uh, Luana in our uh, voters registrar's office. Uh, those numbers are also posted online. Um, COVID testing. There was a little bit of um, uh, people, uh, some people upset last week. We uh, the, uh, we thought we were going to lose our drive-through down here for one day a week and uh, made a call or two and got that straightened out and so we do still have our drive-through testing. Uh, we also have uh, the uh, uh, testing uh, as far as rapid testing uh, inside you have to call for that. You have to call the uh, health department number and uh, they want they just, just a short questionnaire you know you've got to uh, answer some questions uh, about the uh, severity of your symptoms, you do supposed to, you sh should have symptoms, and then uh, you don't do the drive through. You actually park in the parking lot. They will come out, and um, you know, but you have to make an appointment to, to do that. And uh, that test takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, but it is uh, a rapid test. You know, you get your. Uh, how long does it take? Uh, does it? Do they give them to you that day? Is that right, Carrie? Uh, I, think that, I think so. I think in a matter of hours or so. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think so. It's, but uh, so they are they are doing that. Uh, so that's that's a good thing. And really, you know, yesterday surprised me. I, uh, that's the longest line I think I've seen since we've been doing it. Uh, a lot of people were taking advantage of that, uh, the drive-through part of it anyway. Um, I'll move into our report on our COVID numbers. <coughs> uh, to, to, to date, Dade County, uh, as we speak. Uh, we have 499 uh, reported cases, um, and we were, we were up from 481 uh, a week ago. Uh, we're we're at 50 cases, 50 positive cases in the last 14 days. We've had 50 positive cases uh, in 14 days. We've had a total of seven deaths, and uh, we have uh, 27 hospitalized with COVID. Walker County. Uh, they went from 2,459 to 2,626. Uh, they're, they're averaging, or the, in the last 14 days, they've had 281 positive cases in 14 days test positive in Walker. A lot larger county, but still, oh, that's a lot of people. Catoosa County, um, they went from 1,939 to 2,116 in Catoosa. Um, they had a 303 positive cases in the last two weeks, last 14 days. Chattooga County, they went from 1,102 uh, last week to 1,149. Uh, they've, ha they've had 73 positive cases uh, in the last 14 days. Whitfield County, they went from 7,343 positives to 7,760 in Whitfield. Uh, they're at 943 in the last 14 days tested positive. Gordon County went from 2,987 to 3,130, and they've had 264 positive cases in the last 14 days. Floyd County, 4,881. Last week, they're up to 5,138, and in 14 days, they've had 403 cases test positive in Floyd County. Now that's the Rome area, so that's a big county, a lot of people, you know, but that's a lot of people in, in uh, positives in 14 days. Though. We still have 2,159 that's not been matched to counties, unknown counties. Uh, their addresses, that will come out, you know, later on. And uh, so far we've had 8,830 deaths in Georgia, and that's set from 8,648 last week. Move down to Tennessee, uh, the... Uh, Hamilton County, which is our neighbor here, uh, they were at 15,944 last week. Today they're at 17,857 positive cases. Uh, they have 1,608 active cases, but out of that 17,857, they've had 16,092 recoveries, and they've had 157 deaths. Marion County, last week they were 1,185 positives. Now they're a thousand one hundred and sixty-six. That's that went down, didn't it, Gary? Mm -hmm. Yep, on Marion County. But right now they have a. Sorry, eighty. Uh, yeah. It's one thousand one hundred ninety-six. Ninety-six. 
that was typo. Okay, yeah, they're at 1,196 instead of 1,185. Uh, today they have 114 active cases. They've had 1,033 recoveries and 19 deaths. Grundy County, uh, they're at uh, 803 positives. They were at 742 last week. They have 42 active cases in the county right now, and they've had 747 recoveries with 14 deaths. <coughs> Excuse me. Sequatchie County, they were at 501 last week. They're at 566 today. They have 54 active cases with 507 recoveries and five deaths. Mids County went from 461 to 522 in a week's time. The, uh, they have 55 active cases as we speak today with 455 recoveries and 12 deaths. Bradley County went from 4,845 to 5,643. They have 729 active cases. So far, they have had 4,877 recoveries and 37 deaths. Move down to Alabama, Jackson County, one of our neighbors. 3,076 last week. Today they have 3,616 confirmed. They have had 23 uh, deceased and 850 cases have been reported positive cases in the last 14 days in Jackson County. That's a lot of people. DeKalb County, they went from 4,747 uh, last week, uh, today they're at 5,129. They've had 40 deaths. They've had 701 positive cases in the last 14 days in DeKalb County. That's just a lot of people. Uh, the, uh, as you can see by these numbers, uh, it's definitely not going down, you know. And so uh, all I can say is just try to social distance, wear your mask, uh, be careful this weekend. Uh, and just uh, just just try to try to use common sense, you know. But we we want you to come to our parade, and it's going to be nice, you know. Be a lot of lights, and be a good positive thing to get out and do. But just use common sense, and please uh, wear your mask and social distance. We got any questions? No uh, I appreciate everyone uh, tuning in. Hope it uh, you know is informative to you. My number is four two three six six seven eight nine nine nine. If you uh, you know ever have any questions about what we talk about here or anything pertaining to government. Uh, just please give me a call, and uh, I don't know the answer. I can get you the answer real quick. Uh, also, our commissioners, uh, they're, they're readily available. You know, they do answer their phone just like I do. Their numbers are posted online. And also, you can call our 657-4625 number here, and they and, uh, sure will be glad to give you their, their numbers and contacts. So we'll, uh, we'll be back next week or sooner if we need to be. Uh, be safe and be careful and really have a, a good weekend and get out there and, and try to enjoy the parade if you can. Thank you so much.